And I would like to see uh, Daniel Ratner up here. Daniel is uh, partner and head of growth at Your Local. Hi, I'm Daniel with Your Local. So imagine that you've just sat through a really great speaker series with some brilliant speakers. Maybe you've uh, done some productive networking or crafted a few good tweets, uh, but ultimately the day goes on and the day ends and you are hungry. So you decide that you want to go treat yourself to a delicious blueberry scone or a really big sandwich. Uh, so you hustle out to your favorite spot and you get in the door just before it closes. And as you're checking out, you remember, oh wow, okay, I, I had a lot of takeaways from that, that food waste uh, talk I was just at. So you take a quick glance around and notice that right behind the counter, there's still a ton of pastries or pre-prepared sandwiches and ready to eat salads. So if you're especially curious, you ask the staffer and say, hey, what happens to all this food once you close? And the staffer knowing that, oh, we have to actually throw it all out isn't a good enough answer. So instead they kind of shrug their shoulders and give you your food and off you go. And, and maybe they're helpless because they've tried to donate their food but they couldn't meet a minimum threshold to partner with a nonprofit. Or maybe they've consider doing a discount bin, but we're a little bit worried about how it could cannibalize their current sales. So your local exists because we know there's a better way than putting good food into the trash. We reduce your carbon footprint with every meal by allowing users to buy and pick up food directly in a restaurant to make sure that unsold food is actually being used. So your local started as a grassroots effort in Copenhagen. It's now a solution for tens of thousands of people. Um, and we're also growing in Brooklyn and a solution for over 50 different shops right now in Brooklyn. Uh, so how does it work? Uh, so we are an app-based marketplace where shops can post and promote their surplus food at a discount. Uh, this enables users to buy that food and go directly into the shop to get it. It's a really simple way for restaurants to make additional revenue from what would otherwise be shrink, uh, for users to uh, feel empowered because now they're able to vote with their dollar. Uh, also, they're able to stretch their dollar a bit more because food that would normally be uh, inaccessible for them based on their budget now is well within their means. Uh, and then it's really nice for the environment too because there's not good food rotting away in the landfill. So, this is an ecosystem that we're really excited to be a part of because there's a lot of innovation in it right now and uh, we are focused on the individual. So we're focused on getting that consumer activated. Um, we've had a few learnings along the way, um, primarily due to some mistakes that we've made. The first one is um, action leads to awareness leads to concern. So intuition would say that you need to start with awareness and then from there, People are concerned and then they'll take action. But what we found is, yes, you can kind of activate maybe that 8% of people that care about social first and foremost, but that 92%, they need to have a very simple way to take action. <clears throat> Excuse me. So being able to remove any type of barriers of entry so they can take action, learn more about the problem of food waste, be concerned about it, and maybe even take those learnings back to their own kitchen. The second one is simplicity sells. So this is really important. We're working with restaurants and with consumers. So on the restaurant side, they have 32 other things that they're worried about. So if this isn't something that's simple, it just won't be utilized. Um, on the user side, the interface and the value proposition has to be extremely transparent or it'll be forgotten about and they'll use maybe a Grubhub or a Seamless um, as their solution for food, even if this has a nice social benefit to it. And then the last one, uh, selfish over selfless. So we started messaging um, and screaming from the rooftops or the, the streets of Brooklyn, use your local and you'll save the planet. And we got a few heads to turn, but not enough. Um, and what we found is that we need to put that self-benefit first, um, which means rather than positioning and saying, hey, save the planet and save money, it's just a simple switch of saying save money and save the planet or reduce your carbon footprint. Um, and although that, that shift seems simple, it took us uh, 
a good amount of resources to, to recognize that. Uh, so again, really excited to be here. Really um, great to brush shoulders, shoulders with some other leaders in this space. And we're your local. Look forward to continuing the conversation.